Okay, now let's move on to the other question. Gearing ratio. So how do you calculate gearing ratio? Which is the total depth divided by the total capital employed. Okay, simply you have to take total depth divided by total capital employed. Okay, now when you analyze the information, uh, you can see the total debt. The total debt consists of 11% uh, debentures, then 14% bank loan, and also redeemable preference shares. So this is also considered as a debt. So therefore we need to consider these three under total debt. So first of all, the debentures we have 20 million, 20 million plus, uh, we have bank loan 2.4 million plus we have redeemable preference shares 8 million shares per share value is 1.2 so there are about 8 million times 1.2 per share which is going to be 9.6 million so which is 9 million 600,000 now we need to identify the total capital employed so total capital employed what we need to do is we need to add the remaining uh, the equity uh, shareholders contribution okay now you have 20 million 20 million plus 2 million 400 plus 9 million 600 plus now you have ordinary shares of uh, 60 million shares per share value is uh, 40.40 pounds plus 0 0.30 share premium so therefore which is going to be 0 0.70 so 0 0.70 times 60 million it's going to be uh, 42 million 42 million then we have 4.5 percent irredeemable preferred shares which is going to be 12 million which is going to be 12 million plus uh, redeemable preferred shares now that already we have taken here, 9.6 million. We have retained earnings, 10 million 400, 10 million 400. Plus we have general reserves. We need to consider retained earnings and the other reserves, 2 million. Plus we have foreign exchange reserve, 1.6 million. Okay, so that is the total capital employed. This total is the total capital employed, including equity contribution and the uh, debt contribution. Okay, and the total debt is we have uh, debenture, bank loan, and uh, redeemable preference shares. So when you add up this, this comes to 32 million divided by, and when you add up the totals, that's going to be 100 million. It's going to be 100 million. This is a percentage. So therefore. Uh, gearing ratio will be 32 percent okay so this is 32 uh, percent is the gearing ratio uh, this basically measures the company's uh, financial leverage comparing to its borrowed funds to its equity okay so which is going to be 32 percent